YouTube. <clears throat> uh oh, let me clear my throat. Mm. Welcome to Be the Rider PA. I'm out for a lovely day on my 2018 Road Glide Special. And when do you plan your rides for the next year? Do you plan your rides? Do you go on trips? Been doing this for quite a number of years. <clears throat> and, um, we find that, uh, you know, we pick where we want to go. Actually, right now is when we start thinking about where we're going for next year. And then when it comes around January or so, um, I use, especially with campgrounds, it seems like, you need to uh, pick where you want to go and book those ahead of time. So we did join a, a KOA since they seem to have a pretty nice site. And my one buddy was telling me I should join Good Sam's. Uh, I get military discounts, so it's a plus either way for me. The KOA, one, they'll give you one or the other. They'll get a discount for being a member or a discount for being a veteran. Uh, so, but uh, we were planning to go to Sturgis and go to Yellowstone and see the geysers and do all that stuff. And everything we see, it's a crowded mess out there. It's a hot mess. Now you have all these fires and stuff right now, uh, which really won't play until next year. But I mean, the nice thing is it'll all burn up now and it won't happen next year, most likely, or hopefully it don't happen. But either case, uh, all that all that uh, smoke and stuff would be there and then for this year. But next year, yeah, you're not gonna happen. So whether to go there next year or not was the question. We want to spend a lot more time there than what it would allow us if we just went on a uh, two-week trip. You figure it's a four-day ride for us to get there. Now, if we camp on our way, it's going to be longer because we have to stop and set up. Even just to set up the tent, get checked in, and so forth is an hour or two hours. And you don't want to get there early and hang around and do nothing whenever you can be putting miles on but you want to get enough rest so to stop and set up a tent for the night and unpack and pack is is, is quite a daunting task if you're just going for a stop for the night or do you just stop at hotels on your way there so we're thinking more on a travel thing when we're going somewhere to stop at hotels the simple fact is it's just easier to do for the night and try to keep the hotels at a minimum uh, for for every two to three days on a road you know three days on a road you could do that when you get to where you're staying you camp and you go out from there so if we do a three-day ride out four-day ride out four-day ride back it's only eight nights in a hotel for 30 days then we stay the rest of the time while we camp because we'll have the time to move around the problem is getting there. That's always the biggest thing is the amount of time you spend to get to where you want to go. So when you plan your trips and you're traveling, uh, how far do you go and how much time is it going to take you to get there on a motorcycle? No, you could put it in a truck and trailer. You're still going to have to take that much time. You still got to sleep. The only thing about people say about truck and trailers because usually the wife can drive or you got friends going. They're carrying more than one bike or two bikes, three bikes. Uh, and you have four people, that means four people could possibly drive. So there's no need to stop. You can stop, get some food, eat in a vehicle, drive down the road, and you, no matter what, you're not losing mileage on time on the road, especially late at night and stuff. You, you can get there within 30 hours, whatever, and cut it down into a matter of, of two days versus four days. But that being said, since we're traveling alone, we're not gonna have that option back to do we plan our trip yes we plan our trips away in advance because of these simple problems you need to be sure of where you want to stay how many miles you're going to go a day and make sure you have a room available i hate to overpay for rooms rooms ain't cheap and i want to sleep in a decent place uh, most of the time the hotels we stay at is holiday inn comfort inns and I do look them up on the internet to see what they have, where they're located, what's around them to eat at. Is there some place like, if I like to eat Cracker Barrel, I want to be able to get the Cracker Barrel. It's got to be close. Uh, if you want to eat Bob Evans or, or one of those restaurants, 
or you just want to be able to get us quick food and go to Arby's, McDonald's, or Burger King, they're all there. Most of the time, we don't really eat them too much because they're all, I'm, I'm diabetic and can eat all that stuff. I try to keep from eating that stuff. We just have power shakes. I can drink that in the morning and head down the road and not be hungry all day long. But that's always a plus too. If you don't worry about food as much, it makes it a little easier. Evening, oh, I like to have a steak dinner or something, but hey, who knows? It is what it is. It's, it's, it depends on where you're at and where, you, where you're going. Back to planning again. I'll get sidetracked again. So yeah, plan your rides out prior to leaving where you want to go. How, how long is it going to take you to get there before you make a choice? Well, yeah, that's everybody. Oh yeah, I can do that ride next year. Oh, we'll go to Sturgis and da 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 da. You know, it takes four days to get there. Huh? Well, I only get a week's vacation. Uh, yeah, they're not going. They're not going to go. Uh, 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 I only get I only get three days off. Well, you're not going to go. So plan accordingly. Whenever you think about going to these places, and be upfront to people. If you got a friends that say, "Hey, you want to go for a ride," and you want to go, and you only have a week's vacation, tell them you can't do it because you only have so much vacation. They understand. Believe me, I I I get lots of vacation for my job, so I understand when you can't go. I, it, it, making money and providing for your family is far more important than taking a trip. Now, what you can do is you can plan weekend trips. You can ride about three hours from your house and usually find something to go see or do. We did that the other weekend. We did a couple day trip to Erie. Uh, you can pick a play location, set up your campgrounds, go down there, say get off work at three o'clock in the afternoon. If you pack up the night before, it takes a little planning that you're ready to go the day before. You can head down the road, stay where you're going to stay, set up, hang out with your friends. The next day, spend that time riding that area so you don't have the three hour ride to get there. You're already there. So you can ride three hours more the opposite direction from where you're from or wherever, see what you want to see, and then ride home on Sunday morning and have plenty of time to unpack, get done, get ready for your work day, which starts on Monday. It's all about a little planning. It makes a world of difference. Uh, I do overnight rides. Like, uh, I'm not that far from the back of the Dragon. I can ride to that in one day and do it. Stay at a hotel and ride back the next day. So, that's a general plan too. Hey, well, I want to do, hey, anybody want to go? But most people think that riding all day is, hey, let's stop every 15 minutes. No. I mean, I don't get off my bike for two hours or until I need gas or got to go to the bathroom. That's about it. Unless you see something or plan that in your stops or, or going and you see something or lots of many hours in a day that you're not going to be riding and planning your distance, it's important because you don't want to get to where you're going to at 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night and think you're going to be up and perky the next day. You're not going to be. So back to planning. Uh, I love a lot of these uh, YouTubers I see. They, they do those rides. You gotta remember, there's a lot of video that you don't see. I'm like amazed on how much video I make and I do not put online. Then they plan their shots and do their shots. Uh, that's camera set up time for when they do those. If you see that bike going in and out of a place, he had to put that camera, go past it, go back, pick the camera up and <laughs> They put that into his scene. So it wasn't like the camera just said, hey, come on, go ahead and go by and I'll jump on the bike when you ride by me. <laughs> so it takes a lot to put those videos together and it takes a lot of the time. So if they're doing a long trip, it's probably a lot longer than what you think it is, what it compares to on a video. Uh, I haven't got into doing that. I will eventually probably, uh, but uh, whenever we're traveling or something, I'll try to do some of those. But uh, yeah, it, it takes a lot to get anywhere. But anyways, so plan your trips and you can plan shorter trips. And if you can't take that much time off, do get out. You can do it over a weekend. You can, and all oh, big thing about campgrounds nowadays, a lot of them have cabins. Cabins, cabins, cabins. And cabins usually have a two day minimum, which is the weekend, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, you, can, you can go ahead and stay there for the night. Uh, get up the next day, do your thing, stay one more night and ride home and you don't have to take a tent or anything like that. It's just a weekend getaway. Cost is always a major factor. You're riding a motorcycle, which 
costs you more money anyways than what everybody else spends on their stuff. If I just had a car payment, hey, no problem, man. That's more money. I'd be, I'd be have tons of money to go on trips. Every month I'd have extra, extra money, you know what I'm saying? Because the cost, the insurance, the gas, the, the, the cost of the vehicle, it doubles when you have a motorcycle. Now, I've been looking at adventure biking, and those bikes are a lot cheaper. Oh man, are they cheap. Five grand for a motorcycle? Oh yeah. If I was younger, I'd probably really like to go do that, because you can camp, take that down a dirt road, you can go out through the woods out of here, you could do all that. It would be awesome. I see a lot of young women are doing it nowadays, which is always awesome. Love seeing women ride motorcycles. There's there's tons of dudes are doing it. I see groups of four or five bikes all the time, riding here and there, uh, doing the Enduro thing, going out into the woods and camping, uh, which is, it's like I said, it's all grand. You can't take a Harley down some of them roads, that's for sure. It'd be definitely a little out of the, out of the canter for the bike, but uh, you could do some of it. But in the case, it's it's an awesome thing to do. So uh, that's definitely an option too to get you started. You don't have to have a thirty-five thousand dollar motorcycle to start riding. You don't really need it. And I've seen too many people to have bikes, put five thousand miles on it, and sell it or trade it in on the next thing because they think it's the next big thing. It's going to make them something. I don't know. But it's a motorcycle. It's a machine. Anyways. <laughs> I rambled enough about touring, riding, planning your rides. It's all on your opinions and what you like to do, what your costs can do, what you can do. These are all the variables. There's so many variables. What you can afford, what you can't afford. And everybody's different. And everybody has different issues, uh, whether they can ride for hours or they can't ride that long. Take that all with a grain of salt because everybody is different. But uh, it's all about getting out and riding and seeing the country. And look at all these leaves turning down here. Man, it's not going to be long. Oh, I got a chill in my bones already. All righty. Well, this is Beta Rider PA. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, hope to see you down the highway. Keep the rubber side down. And like I always say, I'm out.